Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It is 20 whatever filming day. I just started getting ready for that. I had just sprayed my hair down because I'm gonna do like a slicked back bun today. And I was like, oh wait, hold on, pause everything. I wanted to vlog today. And as I've been experimenting with the slicked back bun, I've been seeing a lot of comments about how I do it. So I figured I could just walk you through it now. I experimented with this for a bridal shower because I simply just did not have time to do anything else with my hair. And I felt like my normal messy bun wouldn't really fit like the bridal shower vibe. And I was feeling kind of unsure about it. But then Steven and my mom were hyping me up about it. They were like, it looks so good. And Steven like never notices hair things. And then I posted it and everyone was like, this is such a good look for you. I was like, okay, maybe, maybe I need to give the slicked back bun a second chance. And I've done it a couple times now and it is really growing on me, especially as like a third or fourth hair day style when my hair is really on its last leg before the next wash. So what I use is a spray bottle of water, the Bumble and Bumble Sumo Tech. It's like a holding cream and then hairspray. So I sprayed it down and now I'm just gonna detangle. And I've tried it with a side part and a middle part. I think I slightly prefer it with a middle part. I think it just kind of fits the look of the slicked back bun a little bit better on me. So we are detangled and I am moving to the middle part. All right, we are parted. And now I'm gonna start just like slicking back the hair, brushing it back to where my low bun is gonna be back here. Just trying to get it as like flat and smooth as possible. Now that my hair is kind of moving in the right direction, I'm gonna add in the Sumo Tech. Now this stuff is really thick. And I think the first time that I did the slicked back bun, I used a little bit too much and my hair looked a little more greasy. So I've been dialing it back and also just kind of emulsifying it on my hands. And then I'm gonna push it back like this. And now I am going to just brush it back again to where that low bun is gonna be until I feel like it is perfectly slicked and I'm not seeing any of the product residue. That is looking pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna start with just a ponytail just while I finish doing the slick back, nice and low in the center, and then I'm gonna turn it into a bun at the end. Pre-bun, it's giving founding father. <laughs> See, I feel like when I say things like that, it shows that I'm still not like fully on board with the style. Part of me still looks at myself with this and is like, founding father but it is so easy and i do think it's cute and it's very like cool instagram girly anyways now i'm going to add some hairspray this is so that when the hair starts to dry because like right now it's perfectly slicked back but especially with my hair as it starts to dry pieces are going to start to frizz out and the hairspray is just going to keep it all slicked how many times can i say slicked <laughs> Okay, there we have it. Hopefully you can see it fairly well. It's one of those things that you really only get a sense of from the side. But now I'm gonna twist my ponytail, do a little wrap, secure it with a second hair tie. Oh, that's not bad. What do we think? The bun sometimes takes me a few attempts. This is attempt one, how's it looking? I can see it in the mirror reflection right here. Other than this loose little piece, which I think probably just tuck back in there, not bad. So that is how I've been doing my slicked back buns. Slick, slick, slicked back, slicked back buns. Slicked back buns. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. Oh my goodness, who else had to play that on the recorder in fourth grade? All right, I'm just washing my hands to get all the product off. I am going to do some skincare, little bit of makeup. I feel like also wearing earrings with this hairstyle really elevates it. Oh wait, but I can't, I can't wear earrings when we're filming the podcast because I have the headphones on. I didn't really fully think through what this is gonna look like with headphones on, but too late now, here we go. All right, here is the outfit of the day. I've got on the torrid skirt that I love with this cute new graphic tee that I got from Target. Target really has the cutest graphic tees right now. I got three recently. This one, cute little Bronco shirt, and then these other two I'll put pictures of here. The Pickleball Bro Tank and this Yellowstone graphic tee. So so cute and pretty inexpensive. They, they don't carry the plus sizes in every store, but they do online. So I'm gonna link them in the description. And I'm so excited to have cute new graphic tees for summer. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna wear for the first half of the day, the first episode. It's eight right now. We're starting filming at 10. So until we start, I'm gonna be getting some admin work done at my desk. I figured this would be easy and comfy for that as well. And it just makes me feel so cute. I love it. 
Um, and then we'll do our, well, our first episode of today, but we, this is day two of our batch filming. We did two episodes yesterday, so then we'll do two more today. And I'll change into something else for the second episode today. We pretty much always batch film for 20 whatever since Ryan and Paloma live up in LA. It's just easier for them to come down once a month. We do four episodes, two back-to-back -back days, two episodes each day. Sometimes if we need to do more, we'll do three episodes a day, but that's when we start to, to lose some steam. Two episodes a day is like perfect. It's pretty easy. We get into the groove. We just, you know, we could chat and talk to each other for hours. So it's always, it's always a fun time. Okay. I've been making really good progress. I'm getting a lot done I, on filming heavy weeks like this. I tend to get pretty behind on like administrative work um, because Monday we filmed for the Schulte channel. We did the posing class, which was so cool. Honestly, like even more transformational than I expected. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. Um, so that was all day Monday. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, I was with Grace. So I was able to get some desk work done during her nap. And then yesterday was Thursday, two episodes of the podcast and short form content. That was a full day shoot. And then today we're gonna rinse and repeat, do the same thing as yesterday. So I'm glad I'm able to play some catch up now because I'm not gonna be able to this weekend. I'm gonna be in full mom mode this weekend. It's just me and Grace. Um, Steven's leaving tonight for my little brother's bachelor party. Very exciting. So he's gonna be gone for the weekend doing that. And I just know that I will stress myself out if I'm trying to play catch up on all of this stuff and you know take care of grace all day so i'm really glad I, I was able to play a good amount of catch up now because then i can just focus on grace this weekend have a fun time together and not stress myself out trying to fit in work too so i've got a little more time here before they get here i've been sitting up until this point but i'm gonna move the treadmill over get some walking in some movement in just gonna pull my skirt up all the way to my boobs so i don't trip over it and we're walking and working i freaking love the treadmill desk like especially on days like today where I know I'm just gonna be sitting all day and I didn't get a workout in this morning just getting a little walk in right now probably walk a little bit at lunch too it's amazing I'm <laughs> I'm obsessed oh also as I'm filming this the treadmill desk video is going up today in 30 minutes so I'll get some posts up promoting that before we start filming and um, if you want to watch it link in the description I really love the video I think Rachel cut all of our footage together so well and it was just such a cool thing to try like I <laughs> it's become such a staple in my work routine I just Love it, can't recommend it enough. <laughs> the girls are here, we're getting ready to film. Hello. Oh, I'm the hi. Oh my hi. god. <laughs> hello. You're the hello. I'm the only one who knows my lines, okay? <laughs> I'm off book, everyone else is bad. <laughs> Dude, that, honestly, I was, I was always kind of late to get off book. So, yeah. yeah, they were like, yeah. okay, by this day you have to be off book. I'm like, oh. yeah. yeah, tech week, I'm like. <laughs> I'm definitely like looking at the lines of the scene before and being like, retain, retain, because yeah. Yeah. And I'm off book and then I go back and I'm like, what are the for the next scene. <laughs> yes. And you know, I still have nightmares. I haven't been in a show in almost a decade. I still have nightmares about getting on stage and forgetting my lines. Still. Yeah, really? To when yes. I'm singing, I forget my lines. Never like when I'm speaking, but I'm always oh. singing and then I never remember the lyric. That, I feel like it's like that, but that it goes in my head. I'm like, what's the line? What am I, what's the lyric? What are the lyrics? What's and then I am able to get it out actually. But like the whole time I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what's coming up. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the scars of being a theater kid. Literally. <laughs> I'm like, should we try it again now that we know our line? Yeah. Is everyone ready? Uh, are, are you? No. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to, to 20 Whatever. I'm so excited. The first episode we're doing today, I can't believe it. It's our one year anniversary of 20 oh. Whatever. So we're going to be talking about all of those feels. We have some audience questions to answer. And then we'll take our lunch break. And episode two is <laughs> exposing our notes apps. Yeah, <laughs> exposing ex ourselves. And, and, and it really is an exposure. <laughs> it will be an exposure. On so many levels. Like mine are just so random. Yeah. And so. So, like there's just such a range yes you'll see you, you'll <laughs> see <Tune> in. <laughs> gotta join you guys and crack the claw Ooh. yes can you do it one-handed oh oh well oh bless what a true friend i know oh. right <laughs> oh my gosh a guest actor just walked in the door oh, oh there he is. <laughs> for one year right the man it? behind the idea Oh my oh, god, yeah. actually. Oh, that's actually tea. The man behind the so idea. So maybe we will talk about this you. This is a fruition. We will talk about you. Earlier, we like, want you to talk about me. And we were like, no. <laughs> and now we have now we're to. we're going to have to talk about him. Oh, oh I guess. Steven's getting ready for a bachelor party. <gasps> Period. Oh my god. <laughs> Year one Q&A, episode 47, take one. Ah. I'm passing the camera to Jess so she can get a clip or two. 
Here he Hi, friends. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello, and welcome back to 20 Whatever's anniversary. Oh my oh. god. It's our one year anniversary, you guys. Like in every class, there was always a kid who was like, oh, I'm gonna throw up. And, like, right now. Why? and it was me a couple times. <laughs> and I Stop. Was, the podcast doesn't really have structure. We kind of just vibe. And I was like, I need to take that and apply that to my content and just kind of hang out. I uh, literally I'm so proud of us, you guys. <laughs> I know. And it's all because of you guys too. So yeah. thank you guys so much for being here and commenting and, and giving us love us. and supporting yeah. us. Wow. You guys, this episode freaking got me. I know. I can I literally cannot believe it's actually been a year and then like saying it and being like, "Oh, happy 1 year." I was like, "Oh my god." We did it. We did it. We did it, Joe. <laughs> I can't believe I was about to go change without us taking a picture no, to, to commemorate right this now. moment. Yeah. Aww. Aww. This is so cute. Aww. Aww. cute. I love you guys. Uh, I love you guys. It's let's gross. Take a selfie. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. Love I it. Love it. it. I, love I love it. I love you guys. I love you guys as well. What do we want for Bitches. lunch? I don't know. I'm starving. <laughs> All right, we are headed to Rubio's for lunch. We have chauffeur Steven, who decided to come with. Come with? No, you're coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, so cute, with your sunglasses oh, on the patio. It's such a bright day out. I know, it's so nice that it's like actually not cloudy for once. <laughs> We've like hardly seen the sun so far this summer in Southern California, so this is like amazing. <laughs> We're getting our lunch. I got my impossible tacos. They look so good. The tacos were delicious and now we head back for our final episode. Woo! I love the, no da step, the dancing baby. in the back. Show girls. <laughs> Woo girls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! We are really also, I'm so sorry. My lens is so dirty. This whole vlog has probably been like all just fuzzy and blurry, but hopefully it's fine. <laughs> we are getting ready for our second episode of the day. Just took some cute little mirror selfies. Look at us. And ready to expose my notes app. <laughs> Right. We've we've been singing Wicked. Uh, I also I feel like I just forget about Wicked because yes. it is you know it was the Hamilton of like the 2010s. Yes, and I was obsessed with it then. Yes, but then like, it got overplayed. Yeah, and then I just like remembered that there were other musicals that were good. Right, or, right, like, better. But I'm like I don't think all of us have sang like Dancing Through Life together in like assigned roles like I used to with my middle school friends. Right, and I think I think, I think we should. I think we're overdue. Uh, episode 48, take one. Woo! Can I pass my baby to you again, Jess? Oh, it's not on. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, friends. Audience, you are the baby. <laughs> you, baby. Hi. Hey. Hello. And welcome back to 20 Whatever Exposing Our Notes Out. Yes. I, um... I'm not stressed, but I'm very, very curious about what I'm going to be hearing on this couch today. Tofu rancheros, tropical greens, avocado toast, no egg, baker's basket, cassava chilaquiles, buttermilk pancakes, sausage, sunny side up egg, cafe latte, vanilla latte, matcha latte, fresh juice. That fresh <laughs> juice? Wait, wait, wait. Hold. I know, hold I know what she's going to say. How? Fresh pressed was that damn juice. That was some fresh. But I'm glad juice. you brought it up because we never got that baker's basket. May 30th, 2019, at 6:36 p.m. Act one notes in all caps. Bitch, learn your lines. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a sing one single liner, and it just says, "That's just showbiz." <laughs> That's it? That's just showbiz <laughs> and with a Z. If I scored it in my boob, would I see it come out of... Yes. And it's stronger out of some holes than others. All right. It is 4.15. The filming is wrapped. The girls have left. Steven is getting ready to head out for the bachelor party. And I have an hour until my mom comes back with Grace. They've been running around together all day. So I'm going to be able to get in a little more computer work here before I jump into mom mode for the weekend. And it's really nice that my solo weekend with Grace is coming right off of the two day podcast shoot because as much fun as I have with the podcast, I am always really missing Grace after because, you know, I'm, we're essentially locked away in that room for two days straight. So I'm really, really craving that time with her and it is going to be in abundance this weekend. So I'm excited. We're, we're going to have a chill night here tonight, cook dinner and play and maybe go on a little walk around the neighborhood. And then um, tomorrow in the morning, I am going to take her to the Legoland water park since we finally have some sunshine and I don't know how much longer it's going to last. I want to make the 
the most of it, so that'll be really fun. But anyways, that's tomorrow. Um, let's see what else I can get done. It's also so nice having the walking pad here right now because after sitting all day, I'm like, I just want to move my body, but I can't go to the gym tonight. So this is, this is like my perfect use case for the treadmill desk, which by the way, that video is up and oh my gosh, the comments are so nice. The reception on that video has been really good. So I, I'm feeling really good about it. Very, very happy with it. So uh, what, what a good end to the week, to the work week heading into the weekend. Oh, I need to review a vlog that Rachel sent over. That's what I need to do. All right, I have wrapped up my work. My mom is on her way back with Grace. I'm gonna get started on dinner. We're gonna do Brussels sprouts with onion and carrots that I got at the farmer's market on Wednesday. You guys, Grace and I have been farmer's market girlies in the past like month or two. At this point, we're going to like two farmer's markets a week and I just love it. I love like, the, obviously the food is great, amazing atmosphere. We end up spending so much time outside just like walking around. A lot of the time there's like live music and stuff. It's just awesome. I'm looking for a can of chickpeas. So I wanna have some more protein in this. I swear I got chickpeas. Or did I only get black beans? I feel like black beans wouldn't really work with this. Okay, I don't have chickpeas. I need to add that to the shopping list. But I have black beans and I also have these great northern beans. I don't know why in my brain it feels like this would go better <laughs> with the veggies and rice. And it still brings some protein. So you know what? We'll try it. I'm gonna keep these on the side just in case it messes with the dish, but I feel like it'll be fine. And I'm gonna put some rice in the rice cooker and that is it for the rice too. So we're adding that to the grocery list. One cup of water, two cups of water. Now let's chop some veggies. Oh, and I gotta preheat the oven. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves is when I like just get so into the veggie prep and the chopping and then it's all ready to go in the oven, but I forgot to turn on the oven. You end up waiting like an extra 20 minutes that you didn't need to, but not today. I'm peeling the carrots right into this bowl of scraps that's gonna go in the compost along with the carrot tops in there. Oh, I am just in, I'm in such a good mood. I, I might have to stop vlogging in a minute so I can turn on some music and not get copyrighted and just like dance around and feel the Friday vibes because I, I just feel so good and accomplished after this week and excited going into the weekend. I love Ryan and Paloma so much. Anytime I'm around them, I just, you know those people that you leave, you just feel energized and you just feel like lighter. I, that is every time that I'm with Ryan and Paloma. And I feel like, well, I, see me like monologuing, like it's <laughs> like I'm still on the 20 whatever couch. But I feel like a big realization in my twenties has been how important it is to surround yourself with people who make you feel that way and who you can give that same energy to. Because in my teen years, I, I feel like I've, I had like one or two people around me who made me feel that good. And now, you know, at 27, actively choosing who I surround myself with and trying to be really intentional about like the friendships that I cultivate, I feel that way with like all of my friends. And I love that that's a rare thing, like in people that they can make you feel that way, but it's not a rare thing with my friends. It's like every time. And I, I'm just, Oh, I love y'all so much. Thank you for the most fun two days. <laughs> and now I'm gonna get so much time with Grace and I'm, I'm just so excited for her to come home. Like, like I'm seeing her little bucket of toys here that she usually plays with in the standing tower while I'm cooking. And I'm just so excited. I just can't wait to see her. And let's montage the rest of my cooking because I just, I just wanna dance around and sing along and feel these vibes. <laughs> Play La Vivo M from Rent. La Vivo M, your bike, mid that hit here. To the end, Rent's to the stage. Some marijuana. The wind from waving through the window. I'm Senor La your friends. I can taste it. The filmmaker can I eat. Well, uh, the cooking aspect is mostly done. I'm just waiting on the veggies. The rice is about to finish up. My mom and Grace will probably be pulling up any minute. They said 5.35 and it is 5.35. So I am just full on Broadway sing-alonging at this point. It's not even a dance party. It's not even a, a cooking sing-along. It is just pure Broadway, pure theater kid. Thir the theater kid. Theater. Theater kid. And where are we going next? I'm talking about 
Ariel, that's who. Dinner is served and we have a third bowl because my mom decided to stay for dinner. I always make extra anyways since I usually save leftovers. So now we get to have dinner with my mom, which is super fun. And I get to hear all about their lovely day. What, what is it, Sweet Pea? Oh, you're using the popper. All right, hon, I'm bringing over the food. Time to eat. We had a lot of fun with my mom. Dinner was great. They showed me all of the pictures and videos from today. My mom just left. Grace and I are stacking magnet tiles in the nursery. We like to hold them up and say what color they are. And we look through. Blue. Blue. It's blue. What color is this one? Happy baby mama. Happy baby mama. <laughs> all right, lovey. We are going to go take a bath in 10 minutes. Do you want to set a timer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you come press the green button. Very good. What would you like to do for your 10 minutes? Mm. Mm. Read a book. Read a book? That's a great idea. There lived a wise black panther named Bagheera. One day as Bagheera. Happy baby. And, and it's a happy baby, that's right. Not mad. Not mad, no. Happy. As Bagheera sat in a tree, he saw something surprising. You want to pick your jammies? Yeah. What jammies tonight? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the flowers? Yeah. Ooh, good choice. Yeah. <sighs> it is 8.06. I just got Grace down for bed. We had a really fun evening together and I'm just, I'm really excited for tomorrow. Dinner was great. The beans actually ended up being a totally fine addition. And actually they were Grace's favorite part. Like she ate more beans than anything else. So I'm very glad that I made them. It was just a really fun evening. I'm really excited for the rest of the weekend. I'm going to spend it off camera and just really soak in that time with her. So I will probably be picking up the vlog again for the next video on Monday probably Monday. Plan for tonight is I really want to go to bed early, like maybe even like 10, 10 30. So I'm thinking I'm going to like just chill and scroll my phone for like maybe the next 15, 20 minutes. I really want to tidy up down here at the downstairs of our house. It's like a mess right now. It was a really busy week. So I feel like everything's just kind of piling up. There's a lot of clutter. So I'll probably spend like a good 45 minutes to an hour doing that, getting the living room cleaned up, kitchen, dishes, entryway, all of the things um, so that this weekend can just be really smooth and easy and fun. And I think this is where I'm going to end it. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.